Hey, it's Becky Fox here and I'm so excited because today I'm gonna to share with you some stretches you can do right at your desk, sitting in your chair to help improve your posture. So we're spending a lot of time rounded over and what this does over time is gives, kind of gives us that arched over posture, right? And that can lead to neck pain and shoulder pain and lower back pain and discomfort and lack of flexibility and weak muscles and all kinds of things that just aren't good for us, right? It makes us look older than we are and it makes us not feel as good as we could be. So let's dive right in. I'm gonna show you guys some stretches you can do right at your desk. We got five stretches right here that's gonna help you start to feel a lot better. All right, for this first stretch, we are gonna get you up out of your chair because it's so important that we're standing and moving and not just sitting all day long. So for this first one, we're gonna do a reach through here that's gonna to help to open up through the chest and the lats and just all up through that upper body, help us breathe better and help us feel a little bit taller. So you're gonna take your chair, okay? And what you're gonna do is just put your hands on the back of that chair and you're gonna to start to walk your hips back and we're gonna to start to drop our body so that we're at a nice 90 degree angle here. So I'm gonna push my hips back, nice 90 degree angle holding onto that chair. Now I'm gonna take just one hand, so I'm gonna take my left hand, and I'm just gonna to start to reach through and reach under and just push through and feel that pull through here as well as the back of that shoulder. From there, I'm gonna drive it back and then just reach through again. So we're gonna do some movements here to really start to open up the chest and that lat in the back of that shoulder, okay? So we still wanna be pushing our hips back to stretch through this right arm, okay? And then just reaching through, getting that other arm. Well, let's do one more here. And then of course, let's bring it up. We're gonna even out, we gotta get that other side. So same thing, get back into that position, hands on that chair. We're getting our back nice and flat, 90 degree angle. I'm gonna keep that left hand holding on nice and tight and not let go. This hand's gonna come out, I'm gonna reach through just like I did on that other side, and then drive that elbow back. So again, I'm pushing those hips back to get a nice length through this arm, and feeling that pull through the back of the shoulder and the lats. And then I'm just gonna do a couple reaching through as far as I can, and just driving that elbow back up by that side. All right, we're gonna do one more here. Good, and then just slowly come out of that, and we'll move on to our next stretch. All right, now you get to take a seat for our next couple stretches. So as we sit, we wanna make sure we're sitting up nice and tall because what are we doing? We're spending a lot of time hunched over, typing over that keyboard or the, that phone. So let's get our shoulders back and down, sit up nice and tall, be sitting on those sits bones here, right? So we wanna, even as we're doing these stretches, we gotta pay attention to that posture. And it's just a good reminder for us as we're going on our work day to make sure we're sitting up tall as well. So what we're going to do next is a chest opener stretch. So we're gonna to start to open through the chest in the front of the shoulder, okay? So what we're gonna do is take our hand and place it on our back. So I'm gonna turn, so just so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. So the palm is facing out, it's just on the middle of my back, okay? So that's where that's placed. You can kind of find a comfortable position for yourself there. Again, sitting up nice and tall, very important here. And from there, for some of you, <laughs> this might be plenty of a stretch, okay? But if you can't, I'm gonna start to take my elbow and just pull it back opening up through that shoulder a little bit more, and then I'm gonna bring it back in. So I'm gonna rock in and out of this movement to really start to open the chest and the shoulder. Now make sure we're just moving that arm. So what we're not doing is turning, right? If we turn, we're taking the stretch out of where we want it. So sit up tall, keep this part really still, and just start to open that shoulder back and in. All right, and it just depends on how flexible you are. For some of you, you might be really tight through here, and if you can't move far, you just have to hold it, that's totally okay. All right, now of course we gotta even out, so same stretch on the other side. Your other hand goes on your back, palm facing out, just like we did on the other side. I'll turn so you guys can see, sit up nice and tall, and let's just start to pull that back and bring it in. So pull the elbow back, body staying nice and still and just opening through that chest in the front of the shoulder. So again, an area that's so, so tight on a lot of us, just from our daily lifestyles, from sitting and hunching over and all those types of things. So it's gonna be a great one to really open up through the front here. Let's go ahead and do one more. Awesome, all right. 
Now from there, we're gonna do some neck stretches. So for a lot of us, we get a lot of tightness and tension up in our neck, right? And that's where we hold it. So this area is super tight. So I'm gonna show you a neck stretch that I really, really love. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna face you guys a little bit more here. So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna look from corner to corner. So I'm gonna take my gaze and I'm gonna look down past my shoulder to the floor. So I'm looking there, I'm trying to go as far as I can to feel that neck stretch. And then I'm just gonna take it on a diagonal up to that opposite corner. So I'm trying to look at that corner above my shoulder, behind me as far as I can. So now we're starting to feel the stretch on the other side. So what I want you to do is just to keep moving from side to side, kind of holding it there for a second and then going across, up and over, right there. So we're just hitting some different angles through that neck, feeling that stretch. You should automatically already start feeling a little calmer and a little more relaxed just from doing these stretches. All right, one more time up. Awesome. Then bring it back all the way down. All right, so we got to even out to the other side, so it's going to be the same exact thing. Again, let's do a little check-in. Make sure you're sitting up tall, our shoulders are rolled back and down. We don't want to have our shoulders in our ears as we're doing this, so relax those shoulders down. And now we're going to go the other way. So you're going to look down to the other corner, all the way, trying to look past your shoulder on the floor, and then take your gaze up, trying to look past that shoulder to the upper corner, and then let's just take it down and back again a couple times. Good, breathing in and out as you do this. You got it, good. Really starting to feel that neck relax, some of that tension moving out of your body. Good, and it's really important to also make sure you're breathing through this. So our body, when we take those deep breaths, helps us relax as well. So this isn't just about loosening up those muscles, but allowing our body to relax release some of that tension that we have. All right, so for our final two stretches, we are going to go ahead and do some wrist stretches, okay? So the first one, what we're going to do, so again, you can do this sitting right at your desk. You could stand up and do this as well. We're gonna take our hand, our arm is gonna be straight out, so it's straight out in front of me with my palm facing forward. And from there, I'm just gonna take my other hand and just push on that hand. So I'm just trying to push back, start to feel a nice stretch up through the front of my arm. So a lot of us, we spend a lot of time typing and texting and using all these little <laughs> fine motor skills in our hand. So our forearms get tight. So this is gonna help loosen up those forearms and loosen up all the stuff that comes and attaches into our elbow is. So this is a really good, important stretch that we're doing here. All right, so we're gonna switch to the other side, same thing, so palm forward, arm straight. So if you think about what you're doing when you're typing, right, your hands is curled over this way. So we're just trying to open that up and stretch through there. For some of you, this might feel really tight. So just push back as far as you can. Keep that shoulder down. Again, we're not way up here. We're just straight out from that shoulder and relax. All right, we're gonna do one more wrist stretch but we're gonna flip it over the other way. So we're gonna take that hand, same thing we just did, straight out. But now I want your palm facing towards you, okay? So right there, and same thing, just apply some pressure to that hand, whatever feels comfortable for you. You wanna feel a little pull, but this should not hurt, okay? And you may notice maybe one side is a little different than the other. For me, a lot of times that right side is tighter, I'm right-handed. Probably I'm using it a lot more, so it definitely um, can be a little bit tighter. All right, other side, same thing. So arms straight out, palm facing towards you, and just use that hand to start to press. So your fingers should be nice and straight, hand is nice and straight down, or just trying to make a nice, trying to get to that 90 angle, 90 degree angle with that wrist as much as we can. So now we're just starting to feel it on the top side here of that forearm. All right, relax that, shake it out, relax it down. Hopefully you feel a lot calmer and a lot more relaxed at this point and your posture is already gonna be improving and getting better. Awesome, thank you so much for watching this video. This is just day one of a five day series, so make sure you check back to get those other days of stretches and exercises that are gonna help improve your posture. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click like, subscribe to my channel so you can get more videos just like this. We'll see you later. Thank you.